are well into our uh, obedience training with my boy Charlie here. Um, I've been meaning to do more videos, just really it's tough to, tough to film and also train. Uh, but today I wanted to show you kind of how he's come along. We're actually heading into, um, heading into intermediate obedience and I'm doing a, a, um, following a great training program called Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. It's a 52 plus program that basically takes you 52 weeks through uh, so that you can have a complete gun dog. And it's been awesome. Daily sessions, daily um, instruction on what to do. That was the hardest thing for me. It's like, what do I do next when I get to a certain point? And now Charlie's uh, well on his way to hopefully becoming an awesome gun dog. Um, just uh, real quick, so some of the things that I've been using, and I've been following all their tools through Cornerstone, but um, doing clicker training. Uh, I talked to you guys about that before, but using a clicker for our training. And uh, treats, treats are hot dogs. Got to use hot dogs. Uh, so that's uh, one thing that when I saw I had to use hot dogs, I was like, well, Charlie's pretty food driven to begin with. Do I need hot dogs? But I'm following it, following it to a T and we're using hot dogs. So today we're going to train on place, uh, which is starting intermediate, intermediate uh, obedience with, with Charlie. And that's to teach him how to start to steady, start to stay steady and, and start to place on this place board that I created. Um, you see, he, he already wants to be on there because he knows he's going to get rewarded for being on that place board. We're going to start extended place, which will give us the ability to walk away from Charlie, put him on place and go, you know, fix the decoys or, or do uh, whatever we need to do while we're hunting. So um, working on place, we're going to go through a couple sessions here recording. You guys, kinda kinda, you guys can kind of see uh, how he's coming along. Come here, Charlie. Place. Good boy. Good boy. Then we're going to start extended place, which will get him to stay on there longer. Place. Good boy. Place. Good boy. Place. Good boy. Good boy. Place. Good boy. See, Charlie's, Charlie's pretty good when it comes to steady already. Um, he's uh, going to be a year old in April, and uh, he's learned a lot of obedience even before he went through, started through going through CGA. And um, he's just kind of building on some of the stuff I was teaching him before. I wasn't necessarily teaching him wrong. I was just teaching him a little bit different than the, than the course. And I went back to pretty much right after you bring your puppy home and started him there, and he had learned some of the commands already, but I just wanted to build that foundation. So place, place, good place. Place, place, good boy, place. Good boy. He's doing really well. Uh, even this is his first session of like extended place. Before he was basically just learning to get on the place board from that command. But as you can see, he's, he's staying pretty steady off, the ses off of session one. Place. Good boy. Place. Good boy. I'm going further than I actually thought I'd be able to on this first session, uh, but it's good. Um, and Charlie's learning how to heal on leash, off leash. Uh, so I'm going to try do a little bit of heal to place and then see if I can get him to stay. Sit. You're a good boy. Heel. 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 Place. Good boy. Place.
Good boy. Place. Place. Got a little bit distracted there. Place. Good. So the reason I'm clicking away further is because I want him to know, I want him to be reinforced that the further I move or move away, the longer he stays on place, he's going to get that reward. Place. Good boy. And he's staying put on the board, which is great. A lot of times uh, after the clicker goes off, the dog knows he's going to get a treat and he's going to run towards you. Um, and he's doing pretty good at staying on the board itself. Place. Good boy. Place. Place. Good boy, good boy. You see, this is this is a good session, a good first session for him on extended place. We're also going to be doing extended sit this week, um, which is the same thing, just not a place board um, to use. So you can use it when obviously you don't have a place board. You're out in the field, you're in the kitchen. My wife likes to have him sit and stay um, when she's loading the dishwasher, right? So just little things around the house. You have company come over, you want to be able to send your dog to place or send your dog to sit and stay. Um, so we do short sessions, so we do about five minute sessions. We'll do four of these, and so it starts to cement in his mind. Tomorrow we'll do some more extended place, and then we'll get into some extended sit. Place. Place. Good boy, buddy. You always want to end on a positive note. Place. Good boy. Do a couple double reinforcements here so he knows that staying on the board is a good thing. Good job, buddy. Charlie's going to be year old in April.